Hi, I'm James. I work for New Family Social, the UK's peer support network for LGBT plus adopters and foster carers. And I'm an adoptive parent myself. We're here today to talk about LGBT plus adoption and fostering week, which runs from the 1st to the 7th of March this year. LGBT plus people bring a very specific skill set to adoption and to fostering. And there are lots of agencies who want to hear from you. Snapshot research into opposite sex and same sex couples who are waiting to adopt has found that same sex couples tend to wait a shorter amount of time to be matched with a child. Now, this could be down to many reasons, but when you look at the criteria, more same sex couples are open to considering older children, which usually means older than three or four brother and sister groups, and also children with additional or more complex needs. Another reason that we're celebrating this week is because we're really keen that LGBT plus people really do consider themselves for adoption and fostering. We know that in 2020, there were some 80,000 children in care. The majority of those will require a foster placement and there just aren't enough foster carers to look after them all. A smaller number of those children will go on to have adoption plans and your sexual orientation or gender identity won't rule you out of being an adoptive parent. It's about the skills that you bring with you and your ability to meet the needs of those children. Since 2012, LGBT plus adoption and fostering week has been running. And in that time, we've seen enormous growth in the number of people who are LGBT plus who've gone on to successfully adopt or to foster. But there's still a huge need for more of them to do so. The key thing when it comes to adoption or to fostering is that the children's needs remain paramount. And that means that if you're LGBT plus and you consider adopting or fostering, that you're able to meet the needs of those children and different children have different needs. So for everybody who successfully meets the assessment criteria and goes through the approval process, there will be an adoptive child or a foster placement that is suitable for them. What's key if you're LGBT plus that you consider putting yourself forward you look at the agencies around the UK and find one that is right for you. And that means asking them questions. How many LGBT plus people are they currently working with? What's their experience like of working with LGBT plus people? If you know of any of your friends who've adopted or fostered, speak to them to find out how they found the experience and whether or not they'd recommend their agency.